Welcome to the basic electronic lecture series. In this video, I will explain diodes, PN junction diodes. What is a diode? Uh, it's, a, it's a semiconductor device and it has uh, two type of uh, semiconductors, a P-type uh, semiconductor material and an N-type. In this video, we will see the basic characteristics, uh, the basic voltage current characteristics uh, of, a trans of a diode and uh, some of the applications of the diode and we will also see some of the special purpose diodes. So as I said, uh, a PN junction diode uh, contains uh, an N-type semiconductor material and a P-type semiconductor material. What is this an N-type semiconductor material? Uh, it is uh, when an extra valence electrons are introduced because of the doping by a pentavalent impurity. Usually we use uh, arsenic antimony and phosphorus for doping. Uh, uh, we are having silicon or uh, germanium as a semiconductor material and we will introduce this impurity, the pentavalent impurity. And as a result, extra electrons will be, uh, will get freed from the semiconductor structure for current conduction. So because of the excess electrons, uh, it is termed as an N-type or negative type semiconductor. And for a P-type semiconductor material, uh, we need to, um, uh, we need a, a trivalent impurity. So when we drop the semiconductor material, silicon or germanium, with a trivalent impurity like uh, aluminum, boron and uh, gallium, there will be an excess of holes. A hole, you know, uh, its a vacancy of electron is termed as a hole. So excess of holes will be uh, generated. And uh, that uh, yeah, that are the majority carriers uh, in such a material. So that is a p-type or a positive type. Uh, we can assign a positive charge to a hole uh, depending on the behavior of the holes. So it's a positive type semiconductor material. This is the block diagram of a diamond. In the, here, uh, this is the p-type material and uh, this is the n-type material which are joined um, by some uh, fusion method or uh, junction drawing method. And what happens, uh, because uh, in the P region, holes are the majority carriers and in the N region, electrons are the majority carriers. So normally these uh, holes and uh, electrons will get attracted and it will move in this way. So holes from the P region will move uh, towards the right and uh, electrons from the N region will move towards the uh, left and what happens uh, it will recombine. So a diffusion happens, a drift happens and a recombination happens. After that uh, a charge depleted region with immobile charges will be created which is known as the depletion region. So this is the formation of a PN junction. So PN junction, this depletion region, the charge depleted region means uh, uh, there are no mobile charges, uh, there are immobile charges. So because of this immobile charges, uh, uh, there creates a potential, uh, it's a barrier potential, it is known as the barrier potential. So without any external uh, voltage source that develops uh, a potential because of the immobile charges in the uh, depletion region which is termed as the barrier potential and this barrier potential prevents further diffusion and recombination. So uh, in a PN junction you can have this a steady state when no external source is connected to the PN junction diffusion and drift balance each other uh, for uh, both the holes and electrons. So this uh, state is termed as the steady state. Now the space charge region, it is also called the depletion region. So this region includes the net positively and the negatively charged regions and the space charge region does not have any free carriers. The metallurgical region, the interface between the P and N type regions. So the region where the P type and N type materials meet is known as the metallurgical region. So we can distinguish these state and regions. Uh, in a PN junction diode. Now a biased PN junction, uh, we can have two different type of uh, biasing for a PN junction diode. One is a forward biasing and a reverse biasing. So in the forward bias, um, what happens? The thickness of the depletion region shrinks. 
and the current conduction will be maximum. In a reverse bias, the width of the depletion region increases and the uh, entity will create a high resistance for the current flow. But this is the characteristic uh, in the forward and the reverse bias. So in this plot, along the positive x-axis, we are plotting the forward voltage. And in the positive y-axis, it is the forward current. In the negative uh, x-axis, uh, reverse voltage is plotting. And in the negative y-axis, reverse current is plotting. So because of the forward voltage, so as we increase the forward voltage, what happens, the forward current also increases. Uh, at a particular value of the forward voltage, the forward current increases suddenly and sharply. And that particular forward voltage is known as the uh, break-in voltage or knee voltage. It is approximately some 0.6 uh, volt, 0.67 uh, volt for silicon. Now, uh, in the reverse characteristics, the curve is a little bit different than that of the forward characteristic. So, as we increase the reverse voltage, the forward current also increases and it maintains a constant value for the reverse current uh, for uh, more and more values of the reverse voltage. And when it reaches a breakdown voltage, the reverse current suddenly increases in the reverse direction. So uh, it is approximately a very high voltage uh, uh, around 30 to 50 volts is needed uh, for such a breakdown. So this is the reverse characteristics of a, a PN junction diode. Now uh, you can see a, a different uh, uh, special purpose diodes. So ordinary PN junction diode, the energy emission uh, happens in the infrared uh, region because uh, during the operation the uh, PN junction diode uh, will become hot. So um, we can sense uh, the energy in the infrared region. But in a light emitting diode, uh, the energy emission happens in the visible region. So light emitting uh, diode will emit light uh, when we give uh, electricity to this diode. And center diode uh, are uh, again a special purpose diode. Uh, the difference uh, from the uh, PN junction diode uh, is that a center diode is a very heavily doctored diode. We can observe an avalanche breakdown in a center diode. A uh, center diode is always reverse biased and it is used for voltage regulation. Uh, photodiodes are sensitive to the received light. Uh, photodiodes, uh, it converts light into electricity. So it can be used for solar power generation. An LED is using for um, a variety of lighting applications. So I have listed only a very uh, few different uh, type of uh, diodes here, special purpose diodes here. We will see the uh, we will see more and more special purpose diodes. Uh, its uh, working, its construction, and applications uh, in the next video lecture. Thank you.